Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss different aspects of second order reaction. This is an important topic. Questions are asked in different competitive examinations from this topic. Let's start with the definition. A second order reaction is a reaction in which the sum of the power of concentration terms of the reactants in the rate law is equal to 2. There are two types of second order reaction. In type 1, two molecules of the same species react to form product. The rate law for this type of reaction is expressed as rate is equal to minus 1 upon 2 d upon dt is equal to k into concentration a to the power 2. Decomposition of two molecules of NO2 into NO and O2 is an example of this type of second order reaction. In type 2, two different molecules A and B react with each other to form product. The rate law for this type of reaction is expressed as rate is equal to minus d a upon dt is equal to db upon dt is equal to k concentration a and into concentration b hydrolysis of ester like ethyl acetate under alkaline condition is an example of this type of second order reaction rate law equation for second order reaction Differential form of rate law equation for a second order reaction of type 1 is expressed as minus 1 upon 2 d a upon d t is equal to k a to the power 2. After integrating this equation number 1 within the concentration limit of a0 to a and time t0 to t we will get kt is equal to 1 upon a minus 1 upon a0 this equation is called integrated form of rate law equation for second order reaction where a is concentration at time t and a0 is initial concentration half life of second order reaction at t is equal to t half a is equal to a0 upon 2 putting these values in equation number 2 we will get k into t half is equal to 2 upon a0 minus 1 upon a0 or we can write t half is equal to 1 upon k into a0 this equation number 3 is called half-life equation for the second order reaction. From this equation, we can say that half-life of a second order reaction is inversely proportional to the initial concentration of the reactant. Unit of rate constant for a second order reaction. The unit of rate constant for an nth order reaction is given by mole liter inverse whole power 1 minus n t power minus 1 for a second order reaction n is equal to 2 so the unit of rate constant for a second order reaction will become mole liter inverse power 1 minus 2 t power minus 1 or we can write mole liter inverse whole power minus 1 t power minus 1 or mole in mole inverse liter t power minus 1 now graphical presentation of second order reaction the integrated rate equation for a second order reaction is kt is equal to 1 upon a minus 1 upon a0 
So rearranging this equation, we can get 1 upon a is equal to kt plus 1 upon a0. Comparison of this equation with a straight line equation, y is equal to mx plus c suggests that if we plot a 1 upon a against time, it would result a straight line with slope is equal to k and 1 upon a0 is equal to intercept.